Justin Wilcoxon seeing his first action at the plate today. As he takes that pitch and lost it into right field. Going back, it's out of the park. Is it fair? Is it fair? There's no signal yet. Umpires are going to talk about it. Home plate umpire is calling it foul, it looks like. Max Stokes coming in from first. Wilcox is rounding the bases like he just hit the walk-off homer. Umpires are still talking about this. Pirates are celebrating as if they have won this game. Coach, that was right down the line. Could not tell from upstairs what happened, if it was fair or foul, but it was definitely close. There was a consultation, and obviously that can be reviewed. And you had two umpires with that being right down the right field line. Jason Tyson, Max Stokes right on the lines. Both should have had a good look at it. And now Ryan Klosterman's getting in the face of first base umpire Max Stokes. They're going to talk about it again. Manny Gonzalez, the crew chief, coming over from third. Coach Godwin has thrown his helmet, and I think Coach Godwin just got thrown out of this game. It looks like they're going to review this play, and when that was told to Coach Godwin, he threw his helmet, and I believe he has been ejected. And Coach Godwin has given it to this umpire and crew right now. But Coach, I honestly think this is the right thing to do. Go look at it and make sure you got the right call. Yeah, there's a part of the rule book that says get the call right regardless of what it takes. The end result is to get it right. but. A lot of com uh, conversation going on. I mean, it either should have been reviewed or a call made. One of the two. As Coach Collins now walking back to the dugout also with crew chief Manny Gonzalez. Coach Collins still being very animated out there. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to look at this or not, Coach. The umpires are not heading back into the locker room. They've called that a foul ball. You know, watch, watching Klosterman come out of the dugout and his gestures, it appeared he was saying that Max Stokes in the first base made a foul call. As we're getting a replay here on our monitor up in the booth. As we look, did see some signal from Max Stokes there at first. But I believe the pitch was way in. It was not even, from the timing it looked like, it had not even gone over the fence yet. Cliff Godwin has been ejected yes. officially. Yes. Jeff Palumbo will move over to coach third. So, should be an 0-1 count. One and one count, I should say, on Justin Wilcox. And here's another look at the replay, Coach. And I don't think we're going to have a great angle of this. You're really going to have to have a camera angle right down the line to be able to look at this and determine it for sure. But the first baseman for Bryant, Alex Lane, was pointing right at the umpire, saying you know, that he called it foul. You, you know, I think my, Max Stokes at first base was calling time before the pitch. That is what has happened, because it is a 1-0 count, so he did call time before the pitch. Correct. Swing and a miss on the 1-0, 1-1 the count on Wilcoxon. Here we saw on the replay, what we saw was Max Stokes making a time call before the ball was had left the bat. Which, not sure why he would have been calling time there, but 1-1 one -one pitch, low and in the dirt, 2-1 the count. But he called time, no pitch, can't do nothing about it, Coach, got to move on. No, game tied, but Pirates really having to work hard to win this game. And they come back and win, they can feel really good about themselves. 2-1 pitch, fouled off out of play, two balls and two strikes to count. Here's another look, Coach, and that is definitely what is happening. Max Stokes has his hands up, calling time. Pit balls flying out of the ballpark. He definitely called time before the pitch. It just wasn't noticed. 2-2 two -two count. Pitch home. Low and in the dirt. Three balls and two strikes to count. Now keep in mind, Cliff Godwin gone from the game. 
with him being ejected. Jeff Palumbo now at first. Not sure who's coaching first for East Carolina. If I had a bet, that's probably Colby Bortles. There's a drive in the right by Will Coxon. It's at the wall, and the catch is going to be made just shy of the fence. Justin Will Coxon almost got another one. But just a long fly out, and there's one away here in the night. Yeah, that's two balls really squared by Justin. He's certainly doing his part, all he could do. Just missed that one was Will Coxon. Almost walked it off again. 